Good evening from the chilly, but it's perspective because there is in 10 degree weather. Chilly, nighttime Orlando, Florida. It is 6 p.m., look how dark it is. It is dark out. I'm meeting a friend at the boardwalk. I think we're gonna grab a drink and then maybe go in Epcot potentially. I kinda wanna see illuminations. I did not know this happened, but Christmas? Christmas is starting now. That's for certain. Oh, it smelled like Christmas in there. My friend's waiting for me at the tree, he says, is out in the backyard of Boardwalk. Wait, 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 wait. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous candy canes, giant leaves, plants. They're called flowers, I guess, would be the most appropriate title. Gorgeous. I'm running a little late. Traffic was rough, so I'm trying to speed. Oh, trees, trees, wreaths. Garland, Garland, oh, look at that. I forgot how absolutely gorgeous this resort is during the holidays. Sarah's gonna be so mad at me. It's a horse. Look at the carousel horses. And the Santa, and the snowman. Oh. Happy holidays. All right, this is very exciting. I had to go find Oh, I see the tree outside. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the tree. There's the tree. There's my friend. There's the tree, though. Oh, I gotta get closer to that. Oh, look at all the decorations. I should have gone and run here tomorrow. Everybody who's been wondering about the running, it's getting back into shape tomorrow with my 12 mile run in the morning. We've been busy, you know? Family stuff going on, as you know. So, but that, I get back on track tomorrow. 12 miles in the morning, bright and early. A few moments later. Okay, so I didn't realize it was gonna be that quick, but my friend actually had dinner plans with other friends of his since he's leaving tomorrow. And me and him were supposed to hang out early this week, but everything with family and us that had to cut it short. But it was great seeing you, Dennis. Thank you so much for giving me some of your time on your vacation. Can't wait to see you on your next trip. But it looks like I'm doing Epcot We'll showcase alone tonight. Well, I think this is about is the only thing international festival holidays. It starts Sunday. So we got a small festival shop with some ornaments. And it looks like it looks like none of this is special yet. This is all stuff that's already released. Um, I came at like not at a suspiciously good but bad time. I see the Christmas tree is up and it's very silly to come on this entrance to go see that because I can see it from all the way across we'll check as lagoon but all the kiosks are still out for the festival of the holidays it starts Sunday I can't wait I just realized that I know this is the first time I'm going to the parks out there and I'm sad that Sarah's not with me but I realized we haven't been inside a Disney theme park in well over a week and you know what that does to Sarah and mine's mentality Sarah's gonna go like almost a month without going in a park so I don't know what she's even doing right now but I feel so good to be back in a theme park. Ooh, because a week ago, today, is when we drove, so a week ago yesterday was when we went to the top of the world, so it's, it's probably been almost 10 days since I was in the theme park. They're setting up for Candlelight Processional right now. They're setting up, I see a tree, it's just not lit. They're exchanging light bulbs. They're setting up a stage. And look over here, look over here. Christmas on America, Christmas on America. Wait. <gasps> I forgot about this Christmas tree. I thought the one in the front of World Showcase was gonna be the only thing for me, but uh, check this out. Oh, but what's even more beautiful, I'm gonna sneak in. This here, my friends, is where Mr. and Mrs. Claus will greet you. Right in there, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I've actually never met M Mr. and Mrs. Claus here. Sarah, I know you're watching this because you're editing it. Can we meet Mr. and Mrs. Claus? If we have to yes, please put a yes up there. There's a family going into Club 33 right now. Look how fancy that looks. Oh yes, this is now, this is no longer the spoon slapping men. It's going to be where Germany, German Santa Claus, We'll greet all of the guests for the next holiday season. 
if you were not aware, that is what happens. All the countries that celebrate Christmas have like their version of Santa Claus, Kris Kringle, Popo Gijo, with like with their story doing their storytelling in each country. I can't wait. Now it really feels like it's the Christmas time. It's a holiday time. I don't know what that's from, but it's a quote that Sarah and her sister say. It's a holiday time. I think it's from a vine or something. Oh, yes. This. 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 This is a Christmas tree. Look at They got the globe. Like from the middle of the spaceship Earth, or the illuminations. They got me at Christmas in all these different languages, all the different flags. Oh yeah, oh I see something even better over there. Don't be naive, it's not Christmas over there, it is Beverly that is calling me, but I need to check out the shop right here because it's got more festive things. Oh, oh yeah. These, look at that, mini. I wonder if they got Mickey. They do. That is a nice embroider right there. I need that. $36.99. They got shorts versions too for the, the southern hot people. I don't believe in pajama shorts. Gotta get the pajama pants. Sarah, if I don't hurry up and get to Chicago, we're not gonna have any more money left. I just keep getting distracted by the holiday fun, the holiday cheermeister. Look at we got Goofy skating up or skating up here. We got Christmas presents. We got a stage over here covered in beautiful Christmas trees. But around the corner, we got Beverly. Look at even Club Cool's getting in the spirit. We got decorations. We got decorations. We got more decorations. And of course, the creme de la creme. This is actually number seven. So good. It's been so long. So the reason why that was number seven and I didn't show you the first six is because I like to do this thing, especially when I'm by myself, where I walk over there all like, what's this place? I've never been here before. All sly like. Like a little, like a little, little snake. And I drink a bunch of Beverly next to walk really close to some stranger and they're like <laughs> He's gonna drink the Beverly. They're all like quiet trying to not show a reaction. I'm just drinking it. I put it like I drink the first one, put it down, and they're like waiting on their breath for my reaction. And I pause. And I go fill it up a second time. They're like But these people today I'm not getting that kind of reaction. I love doing that. Sometimes they'll even stop me, they're like, are you okay? Is you okay? Not good enough today, but I'm gonna go back for one more try. Because I just want I just want the bad one. Then I might get a lot umbrella. I don't know. I got a fast pass for spaceship earth. What do you do when there's a 10 minute standby line for spaceship earth? You solo fast pass it. And for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover there? Surprisingly. The answers lie in our past. I didn't answer any of the questions. Your high-tech home office will be a really rich environment outfitted with global networking. I love that shirt. This just in. Looks like it's going to be a great thing beautiful tomorrow. I've never seen that before. Or should I say the beginning of your future? All right, I've made my way back to World Showcase. Look at... The Spode teacup is out. For anybody who didn't know, this is what Sarah and I collect. We collect Spode, like, dishware. Flatware, dishware, placematware, things that go in your kitchen for decoration, for eating on and for keeping in a box all year long and potentially never opening up ever again. That's what we do. I think I'm gonna concede and I think I'm gonna go get an Epcot World Showcase special. And if you know what that is, put a comment down below and say, I know what you're talking about. Uh, let's hope that they have some left. Well, I was really looking forward to that, but I'm not gonna wait in that line. It is way too long. It is 8.30, and I need to get a spot for illuminations. Man, okay, so, not to have the suspense, I was gonna get a loaf of bread and coffee. It's like my favorite thing. I was really jonesing for just, because it's cooler out, 
As you can see in the background, so many people are like wearing winter jackets and hats and gloves even, which is a little much, but I really just wanted a warm bread, French bread with some coffee. Did you know that I'm stubborn? Because I walked all the way to America because I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a funnel cake instead. And the last time I got a funnel cake by myself that I didn't have to share with somebody. This is the optimum opportunity. Then I got there and there was too many options. There was pumpkin spice, regular, and I think they're still doing food and wines. Maple, ma maple bacon uh, funnel cake with candied bacon on top. And I was looking at them. It smelled good and I saw the line. It was a good line. I was like, you know what? It's, illumination is in 20 minutes. I wonder if by the time I got back to France, walked in the back of the, the stinking pavilion, if that line was better. I just hope the line's better and that they actually still have bread because they only bake so many. I just really want, it's cold out. I really just want warm bread and a coffee. So, I'm taking my stubborn self back to France by myself, so why not? I'm not dragging it to be around. I'm gonna check it out and if anything, I'll just stay there for illuminations because it's in 20 minutes. Okay, it's loud because I'm in line. We got 18 minutes. Really, it's not that bad because that's all empty. We go through there, then it splits into two. They got baguettes on both sides. I think I'm in business. I think I'm in business. A buttery hot beignet baguette and a cup of joe is what I need right now, right before illumination. This is gonna be a good illumination. Sarah, my darling, you are surely missing. All right, found me a garbage can. We're right outside of where this band plays that I don't watch anymore because it's not the old Canadian band, but I still like them. They have good spirit. They got me a coffee, got me my baguette. Apparently, since you come and get a baguette and coffee by yourself, they like to give you a million butters when you ask for it, so that's cool. And I'm ready to go. I like this spot. I'm by in between some speaker action here. Got a good view over these wonderful guests of the global go right there. And I'm not too far from Ladies international guests. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And we invite you to enjoy illuminations, reflections of Earth. We hope you enjoy our story tonight. Reflections of Earth. What on earth? I've never seen this boat before. It has a bar and snacks and it's big. Um, what? I gotta say, that was a really good illuminations and I feel like maybe my mind just tricked it into thinking it was extra good because that's probably the last time I'm gonna see it because starting Sunday, it's gonna have a special holiday ending, which I can't wait for because it's my favorite version of Illuminations. Um, but my jaw real hurts because usually in France they ask you if they want you that baguette heated up. And they didn't ask me, I should have known, but I just asked. So I ate that whole baguette that was just like rock hard, but it was delicious regardless. But now my jaw hurts as bad as it did on my honeymoon when I tried eating the, the big Texan 72 ounce steak. I got 57 ounces in. Wish I would have vlogged that, but we were not we were not there yet. All right, I'm home. It's 10 o'clock. I'm gonna get a movie on and hang out with Eve and wait until Sarah's home to talk to her. Um, I miss her very much. And only three full days, basically four, but three full days without her. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I fly back to Chicago Tuesday, but I won't get home. Like, I won't land in Chicago until like 10 o'clock or 10.30 at night. Um, but she'll be picking me up, so that'll be great. And we got a good, it's just Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, basically holidays in the corporate world because of Thanksgiving. So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good rest of the week. And I don't know if we've told you what I'm doing with, I'm meeting, we have friends in town. 
I'm helping a friend tomorrow. Friends in town. So much fun stuff. So much good stuff. I'm going to Ohana this weekend. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>